My name is Ben Asak. And what happened here today? Uh, about 20 minutes ago, a woman screamed to find her four-year-old son face down in the water uh, about 20 feet from shore. The, another gentleman ran out from the beach to assist and pulled the kid out. Uh, he couldn't see the kid breathing. Uh, he ran in. I heard screams and ran. I'm an emergency medical responder trained. I'm a level below EMT. I ran out and told the gentleman my level of training. He told me he was CPR certified. Uh, we got the kid close to the shore and uh, began resuscitation. The other gentleman did chest compressions and I provided rescue breaths. Uh, after about two minutes, Dennis police officers arrived, uh, one with an AED, a defibrillator. Um, and shortly after that, about a minute or two later, Dennis Fire Rescue arrived uh, with paramedics and advanced life support ambulance. Uh, paramedics arrived and took over a lot of care. Uh, they began CPR. Uh, they attached the kid to a heart monitor. Uh, one, um, a respiratory therapist from the crowd came forward and identified that he was a respiratory therapist and took over ventilations and airway management for the um, child. Uh, at that time, Dennis Fire Rescue, another engine arrived and kept performing CPR. I assisted with some of the resuscitation and airway management. After about five minutes of the kid being resuscitated, he was placed on a foldable stretcher and rushed to an ambulance. I live in Boston, I live in Somerville, Massachusetts, but I, I'm down here for the summer. I work uh, in the village nearby. Was there a lifeguard on duty? There was no lifeguard on duty. Was there no lifeguard here just because it's like late in the day or is it something that's, ne there's never a lifeguard here? There is usually a lifeguard here, very professional lifeguards. I know a few of them, very good lifeguards. Um, just this late in the day, they don't usually keep lifeguards on standby. Uh, Scott Nagels. And Scott, what happened here today? Well, I was uh, with my couple of my, two of my three daughters um, digging in the sand and I saw uh, a woman running toward the, uh, the ocean frantically. And at first, I thought it was just because there was a, one of his, her daughters was in the, in the water and getting too deep. And then I realized that uh, her daughter was looking back into the water deeper and um, looked like there was a little bit of, of something bobbing in the water. And I realized very quickly that unfortunately it was, um, I think it was the, the girl's brother and this woman's son. So um, she ran in. I ran in after her. Um, she picked him up. He was lifeless. She was struggling a bit to get him so I, I took him uh, from her uh, I ran with him to the shore uh, laid him down on the sand uh, and then um, me and, and one other gentleman who I, I don't know his name but he was I think he's an EMT in training um, him and I uh, administered uh, CPR we uh, first um, checked for a pulse swept his mouth out I started chest compressions immediately. He did breaths. I did chest compressions back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. At some point, someone relieved us just for a minute or two until the EMTs showed up. How long did it take uh, EMTs or uh, first responders to show up? You know, it was tough to tell. I don't, uh, it's definitely a few minutes, longer than probably all of us would have liked. Uh, nothing against them, of course. I mean, uh, you know, did, I, I know they got here as, as quickly as possible. Yeah. Yeah, it uh, certainly was uh, longer than I think anyone would have liked, but again, it had nothing to do with them. I'm sure they got as quickly as they could. Uh, I've been trained about, I've been, I've taken five to, seven, five to seven trainings of CPR in my life and first aid. The last one was only about five months ago. I work for a construction company, um, although I'm not a builder myself. Uh, I'm actually a non-ops but guy, but uh, the company's very safety conscious and offers the classes, you know, somewhat regularly. So I try to take it as, as often as I can just to keep up. And I have three daughters myself, so I want to make sure that God forbid anything happen. I, you know, want to be ready to do what I need to do. And you, and you mentioned that you've gone through something like this just recently. Yeah, it's, uh, it's amazing. Frankly, I'm still trying to get my brain around what's happened over the past week. But a week ago, I was at a pool party, and um, a two and a half year old uh, son of our good friends, uh, something very similar at, in a pool though, and I was able to administer at that point uh, CPR. At that point, it was just myself. I, I didn't have anyone else, and. Uh, I uh, was able to save one, save him. So, like I said, I would, uh, I'd love to be two for two. What do you think about the importance of uh, everybody getting trained in CPR? It's critical, absolutely critical. I think it's a basic skill that everyone should have. You never know when you're going to need it, whether it's your own family or, or someone else's.
Look at it, it's going right over that thing. Get pictures of everyone eating. Ugh, that's a picture, huh?